my name is Min Tue. You can call me Tue. I'm a, a PT and I'm a member of the Amherst Center. Today I would like to present to you guys my topic, which is the major environmental problems, which are related to my hometown and the solution to deal with them. So first, I believe that everyone in this room know what our environmental problems are. Environmental problems are the harmful effects of human activity on the on the biophysical of the environment. There is here some type of environment problem. I would like to show you that. Deforestation, the ozone layer of depletion caused by the air pollution, or the loss of biodiversity. But today, but it will be more specific. But I I'm, I'm only talking about the major environment in my hometown. The so I searched the source, the source news on the internet, and found that the people in Denmark is facing two essential, oh, I'm sorry, two emerging problems, which are solid waste and water pollution. The solid waste can be classified into many different types depending on their source. Like we have municipal waste, like we have municipal waste, consists of household waste or waste from street, or we have hazardous waste, like contain the toxic substance or the hospital waste. But as I see, the municipal waste is now appearing nearly everywhere in the land. Here is some pra practical demonstration. This is a bar this is a garbage dump under a fire road which is called Nanba Bay. This picture was taken about like two months ago. Oh, I'm sorry. This huge, this huge garbage dump not only damaged not only damage the scenery of the land, but also barricading the way to the residence, to the way to the dead and residential area. By that, the people in Lichu district have to face the same problem. Lichu district is a Lichu district is located in the suburban suburban area and suburban because of that, it has many fellows. And the construction company has explored, exploited that advantage to, to destroy their debris. You can see that the, the waste is everywhere by the side of the land. And even they, they even discard these debris under the electric poles. This work may, this work is very dangerous because it can cause the unsafety electric electric operational network. The waste not only cause the soil pollution but also the water pollution. This waste eventually will degrade in the water, but different objects will degrade 
we take different amount of time to do it. So carbon, it takes two weeks to do three. Oh, sorry. Okay. Newspaper is six, six weeks for newspaper. Styrofoam for eight, I'm sorry, eight years for styrofoam. Two years for aluminum. And the familiar material for all of us every day, plastic bag, takes 400 years. The local people there have to face the dusty, polluted air every day, which affecting their health, the future, and even their generations. If this situation continue to happen, the people, the people here won't not won't only. I'm sorry. The people here won't only have endless air to breathe, but also no clean water to use. The second part, the second issue I would like to mention to you guys is water pollution. So you know water is a very important substance to all of us. To all of us. It covers 75% of the Earth's surface and, and an extremely essential resource for us and our environment. The world, the world, the world is, I'm sorry. The world is presented in every activity, in every daily activity in our life, like fishing, watering, and cooking. To be a citizen of Dam, I'm proud to say that Dam has one of the most beautiful, beautiful beach in the world, of the world. And I'm sorry, the time is finished. Time is over. Yeah, I'm sorry to start that. Um,